Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Additionally, did Melinda overplay her hand? While Eric rushes out for a pregnancy test. Sloan gets a pregnancy test today on Days of Our Lives. EJ and Nickel disagree about the baby. Lai lashes out at Melinda and Johnny breaks upsetting news to Rafe. Paulina receives a phone call from Rafe in the square assuring her that he will locate Lani before anyone notices she is absent. When Johnny hangs up, he comes over furious over his ex-stepdad's job loss. When Rafe acknowledges he broke departmental rules, Johnny challenges their sincerity. It's new, according to Rafe, and they both care about one another. After his divorce, Johnny feels relieved to have found someone. According to Rafe, Nicole, and he were never meant to be, Johnny adds that she is currently pregnant with his father after he points out that everyone else knew she would return to Eric. Rafe has widened eyes. Nicole is expecting. E.J. gives Nicole a foot rub at the Demira estate as he acknowledges that having Dimitri nearby will allow them to keep an eye on him and, perhaps, sway his decision. She informs him about Ava's burial before informing him that, if he desires, they would be able to learn the sex of their unborn child at their appointment tomorrow. Wendy gets a note from Lai after Trip calls to cancel plans for dinner due of work. It describes how he is letting Gabby go by going on a date. Lai declares that she is not the DA tonight in small bar as she ponders how Melinda was set up with her. She is a woman out on a date with a hot guy she wants to know better. They converse about movies and look into each other's eyes as they eat salmon, which they both adore. Since her divorce from a violent son of a bitch, Melinda hasn't connected with anyone like this. She responds that her ex is the reason she has a soft place for people like Talia when he asks. Jada and Talia meet at the bar. A disoriented Jada can only think about Rafe losing his job as a result of their relationship as she drones on about her community duty. Talia makes the suggestion that Rafe getting fired would be worthwhile after gushing about him. Sloane promises Colin over the phone from outside her apartment that she will represent him at his trial tomorrow. She continues by informing Colin that Eric has no idea he might be Nicole's baby's father. Eric is on the couch when she opens her door. She takes a big gulp and cuts Colin off. What is it that Eric doesn't know? Sloane acknowledges that she has kept something from him. Wendy watches TV while eating a bowl of food while donning sweats and a green face mask. She hurriedly places the bowl in front of Tripp's face when he gets home. Before telling her he has the night off, he teases her. They can still book a table at the bistro. She would like to stay home after a long day at work, especially since Lai is out on a date. Rafe considers Nichols pregnancy in the square as Johnny drops another bombshell on him. There was a chance the child might be Eric's. Rafe laughs. He is content with his current drama-free relationship. He inquires about Johnny, who responds that he's broken up with Wendy. They take turns describing how pitiful their lives are as they play sad guy poker. When Johnny claims that the girl he was madly in love with left him for a geeky doctor and his previous ex left him for his sister, and that he has no hot detective to fall back on, he wins. Rafe is certain that a woman is watching them and is swiping left on him. Johnny corrects by making a right swipe. Rafe asks Johnny to join him and Jada for a pint at the pub. Nicole doesn't want to tempt fate when E.G. asks about the baby's sex at the mansion. She doesn't want to develop a strong emotional bond only to lose the child. E.J. believes that since there are no assurances, they should savor each step of the journey. She feels he only wants to learn that he is carrying a son. He claims to have fully evolved and would be overjoyed to have a girl as a child. Being the father of this child meant the world to him, yet he recognizes her need for self-defense. He hopes she will soon allow herself to experience the reality of this baby. He hugs her with joy. Nickel had a troubled expression on her face. Slum informs Eric that her menstruation is a few days late at her apartment. In a hurry, Eric leaves to take a pregnancy test. 
Trip holds Wendy as they sit on the couch and watch Body and Soul. He expresses his gratitude that she chose him. She regrets subjecting him to that pointless competition. Wendy claims it wasn't for Johnny, despite Trip's claim that it was worthwhile. By the end of the week, Trip is certain that he will be with Wendy or another person. Wendy is aware, but her concern is for her brother. She hopes his date is going well. At the bar, Lyon observes that he is getting to know Melinda better and is impressed by what she did for Talia. Melinda is also recognizing a new side of him. She doesn't approve of the measures he took to keep Gabby, but she is aware of how selfless Gabby is. Both of their emotions were played with by Gabby and Stefan, who then abandoned them. It makes sense why he desired Stefan's death. Lys smirks, not understanding what she is saying. He is not with Dia Trask in the interrogation room, Melinda tells him. She needs them to be open with one another because she likes him and believes something is occurring. She queries whether he was the one who sent Rolf back to manipulate Harris. Lee pulls out a recorder from her purse. She insists that he is completely mistaken, but he rushes off. Melinda yells at the bystanders before slouching and glaring down. Talia presses a recalcitrant Jada for information about her sex life at the pub. Jada concedes and exaggeratedly declares that making out with Rafe Hernandez is the bomb. Johnny pats Rafe on the back as they walk in and says, Way to go, buddy. Jada, who is horrified, is pulled aside by Rafe. She explains that her only intention was to silence her sister. That review, in his opinion, almost makes losing his job worthwhile. They embrace and declare they have no regrets. Then he requests her assistance in finding Lani. She concurs. Johnny sits next to Talia and remarks on the fact that she feigned to be intrigued by his ex-wife. Although he does not know her well enough to detest her, he does not approve of the fact that she injured someone close to him. She feels terrible about having supported Colin, and she'll go to any lengths to make it up to Chanel and her family. He forewarns that she will have to deal with him if she injures Chanel again. During Wendy and Tripp's makeout session, Lai returns home. Lai sags to the couch and describes his date as a total failure. He then makes his way to his bedroom because he doesn't want to discuss anything. Tripp wants their first encounter to be romantic and free of interruptions, but Wendy wants to continue their night. Wendy concurs that their first encounter should be exclusively about them. Melinda drinks wine and orders a whiskey at small bar. She bemoans the fact that her date won't be returning tonight or ever. She slams her whiskey and takes one more lounging glance at the lost love Chardonnay label. Damn it, Melinda, she thinks to herself. You really messed up on this one, didn't you? Eric and Sloane observe two lines forming after Sloane takes the pregnancy test. If it means what he thinks it means, Eric queries. Yes, Sloane responds with glee. We're expecting a child. As they both say the phrase again, they kiss. As Rafe and Jada look for Lani, Kayla learns a startling truth about Whitley in the upcoming episode of Days of Our Lives. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.